hello friends welcome back to my channel so today guys i'm going to show you how to tie this beautiful fan and twist gilly so sit back watch learn and enjoy so the measurement for this gilly guys is 80 20 so i folded my gilly into two and into two again that's making four yep four so i just picked one of it one two three four so you see it's four so i will just pick one of it right there like so see that and then I'm going to fold like an inch in so my hand is still on that particular um, 20 and I'm just going to shift in the other hand as my left hand towards um, the 80 and then I'll pick from there I'm supposed to do this picking on my laps but I guess you are not going to see if I will pick those splittings on my lap hence I did that on my chest so guys so that's our pleat I just picked like five splittings and I'm just going to lap it on my head and start arranging so I'm going to arrange it and then when I come towards the ear I will lap it on each other on my ear side I'll do the same on the other ear too so this should be a familiar um, procedure or method whenever I'm tying this kind of killy like um, normal round front is always like this so except for I'm tying a V is a different method but this is always our method for our bees so you should be seen by now if you're new you're welcome just keep watching and I'm sure you get um, familiar with it it's a very easy technique and I'm sure you're gonna slay on your gilly you're, like your gilly game is going to be on point after watching this so I'm just going to make sure I lap and arrange everything we want those splittings looking on flick so guys just keep watching So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to be lapping. You remember I said you should fold in one inch in. So that's our one inch in right there. It's the one that I'm going to use to start my base for my fan. So I'll lap it on the pleatings I've already made. And now we're going to like pick. We're going to pick as if we're making a round. So we're going to pick equally. So I'm going to pick that like um, three of that before I'll start making my fan and how do I make my fan I'm going to explain that so you see I pick like three I pick like three so my hand is going to be like from the middle of my nose so at the center of my head that's where I'm going to start picking my fan so I'm slanting it at the beginning and then I'm picking wider or bigger plates at the end look what look at what I'm doing carefully I'm slanting picking a little bit at the front and bigger sizes at the end that's just how I'm creating my fan no magic I don't really know how to explain this but just keep watching and put it into practice I'm sure you're going to get it guys so I'm slanting picking smaller uh, sizes at the front and bigger sizes at the end that's just it guys So friends if you like what you see do not forget to support your girl subscribe to my channel like comment and share guys so stay tuned for our upcoming auto gilly tutorial on your zigzag front and fan and twist is coming up next after this video so keep your fingers crossed is a is a requested video so i'm actually excited to post this because it's like the first time you guys are requesting for a video so i'm super super excited stay tuned for that video guys so all i'm doing is i'm just twisting it and then i'm going to tie it at the back and that's just it
last thing I'm going to be doing, to be doing is just to be arranging my plates like just look at what I'm doing. I'm just arranging my fan, making sure everything comes out well. Just follow exactly the way I am doing and I'm sure you're going to get your fan and twist game right. So after that, you're going to pull it back a bit because you need your edges showing. If you have some edge control, you can place it there on your forehead like at your edges, on your edges I mean you can just do like a baby hair or something nice or sleek so you look cute like a baby girl for life yo so guys that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it do not forget to give this video a like a thumbs up subscribe guys bye bye